A viewer sent us an anti-Hillary social media post that's gone viral and is stirring controversy for the Missoula Nissan Hyundai dealership. We started asking questions and found the problem big enough that company executives came into town this morning to handle the issue. Our Montana McLaughlin sat down with them to hear how they're handling it. Montana. Steve Laurel, I just checked the post where a car serviceman claims he wouldn't work on a car with Clinton bumper stickers has been shared over 230 times since one Missoula resident first came across it. We'll have more with him in a few seconds, but first I do want to let you know that that employee was terminated. The company says they're doing all they can to make sure it does not happen again. Missoula's Nissan Hyundai dealerships issuing an apology after getting inundated with phone calls and social media comments, all because of this post. And he wrote a guy with Hillary Clinton stickers all over his car, come into the shop today. I refuse to work on his car. Ha 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 ha. David Stalling came across the post Monday night and was the first to share it. We've blocked parts of the post for vulgarity. I was just chatting with a friend on Facebook and commenting on some, uh, stories he had posted when this guy got involved and was actually being kind of rude so i looked at his facebook page and that's when i found this conversation and in today's age of social media nothing you say or do online is private which is exactly how this story went viral i think to actually refuse service to somebody because of who they voted for doesn't it really irked me. In no way do they reflect our business values or our practices. Nick Griffin's the operations director for Missoula Nissan Hyundai. He flew in from Wyoming to do some damage control. We stopped by the dealership to find out their next steps. We believe that everyone has their right to their political views and they should be respected, but we do not think that uh, offensive, vulgar Facebook posting is appropriate. I mean, you can't uh, refuse to provide service to somebody because of who they voted for, and if you do, well, there's consequences. <laughs> Nick says he knows customers might be worried the company could be biased against political candidates, but he wanted to put those concerns to rest. I just want to make sure it's very clear that in no way, no matter what bumper sticker you have, what, no matter what your political views are, we're not biased either way and we will treat every customer that walks through here with respect. He says they're taking all the corrective action to make sure nothing like this post happens again. Now, as for that corrective action, Nick Griffin says the company has social media training and the employee involved here did go through it. He says they're planning to review it again with all employees. We also reached out to Nissan's corporate company and they issued the following statement saying they condemn the post. It doesn't reflect their values and the employee was let go. We'll continue to follow up. Reporting live in Missoula, Montana McLaughlin, NBC Montana. Thank you, Montana. We've also been in touch with several upset customers who've reached out to Nissan's corporate office. Nissan's corporate customer service told us they're recording complaints in a special file.